Welcome to fall in San Diego. This actually happens during summer too, but it's very common for us to get calls about bees in their fountain or bees in their pond or pool. And this is exactly what's going on. So the bees are here looking for water and bees are creatures of habit. So they're gonna keep going back to this spot specifically until this area is exhausted of resources. Um, but it's kind of like us going shopping. You're always gonna go to the same store because you know it's reliable until the score closes down, then you have to go find some other place. Same thing with the bees, this is their watering hole. So they're gonna keep coming here over and over again. The solution is if you actually want them to stop coming, you have to tarp this off or eliminate this as a water source by just cutting off the water for a couple days. I know with ponds, it's gonna be a little difficult. That's where tarp is gonna be uh, better used. But otherwise, uh, if you're really curious, you can sit and watch the bees and they're not gonna try to attack you. They're just literally here for water. If from here, uh, you can watch to see which direction they're going. If you sit and watch for five minutes, you'll have a pretty good idea of which orientation they're going towards. Like that one's going that way. If I keep watching, it's gonna keep going that way as, as the one's coming back. But you need to put, once you eliminate this as a bar source, you need to give them one, or you can assume that they're gonna find one of your neighbors. But if you leave a water station, like a bird bath or something where that's floaty where they won't die drinking, they'll get trained to go there. And then you can turn this back on and they'll be trained to use the new source. So that's it. Okay, bye-bye.